you are welcome to another edition of our geometry class and today we will be looking at how to derive and calculate the volume of pyramids in our previous lessons we were able to see that 3d shapes can be divided into two uh, these are prisms and uh, pyramids in our previous lessons we were able to show differences between prisms and pyramids. Prisms have uniform cross-section in a simple term, the top and bottom are the same, while pyramids do not have uh, uniform cross-section, meaning that the top and bottom are not the same, and that is how to differentiate clearly between a prism and a pyramid. Now, we have different types of pyramids. The different types of pyramids include, as they are formed from the 2D shapes, circular pyramids, Circular pyramids. Circular pyramids are equally known as the cone. Then we equally have triangular pyramids. Triangular pyramids. Another name for triangular pyramids is um, they are known as tetrahedron. Why we have a square pyramid? Square pyramid. We have a rectangular pyramid. We call it have a rectangular. Uh, rectangular pyramid. We have rectangular pyramid. We could also have uh, a parallelogram based pyramid for the senior student. We could also have uh, the trapezium based pyramid as these are equally to this. And uh, the, the 3D that is formed from them derived their names from these two. These. Generally, the formula for finding the volume of all pyramids is given as well if it's three times base area multiplied by the height. You don't need to cram any of this formula. It is very, very wrong for you to do so. This formula, there's a way they are derived. You need to understand how mathematics works. This can be simplified as uh, one over three multiplied by the area, which is the base area multiplied by the I. So we now see how to derive the formula for calculating each of these pyramids, starting with the cone. The cone, like we said, is a pyramid that is derived from the 2D shape known as the circle, and we have that so we can draw the eyes where well, this is a digital pen so you don't expect it to write exactly like the way you write on the board so we have the height then also the radius the volume of any pyramid uh, is given as one over three multiplied by the area and the height so for the cone that is formed from a circle we have one over three 3 multiplied by the area multiplied by the i. So let's work together. The volume equals 1 over 3 times from which shape is this pyramid, the cone derived from, from a circle. So what's the formula for finding the area of a circle? It is pi r squared. This is basic for mathematics, which I expect every one of you to have understood as and how we came, we came about the formula for calculating the area of a circle. That has been shown in our previous video. So generally, the formula for calculating the volume of uh, a cone is 1 over 3 uh, pi r squared h. So straight away, we go to the formula for calculating the volume of a rectangular-based pyramid. Rectangular-based or rectangular pyramid. Now, for the rectangular-based pyramid, um, for the rectangular pyramid, uh, we have to see how to sketch because that's another skill that you must try as much as possible to strive for. So for the rectangular base pyramid, so you just come from the vertex, so down, you can link this up and link this. So you have the shape of a rectangular pyramid there and the volume for the formula for calculating volume is given as 1 over 3 multiplied by the area for all pyramids because the relationship between this base and this top has been shown practically to be a fraction of 1 over 3. So volume equals 1 over 3 since this is formed from a rectangle. So the formula for finding the area of a rectangle is length times breadth multiplied by the height. Well, length times breadth is the formula for finding the area of the rectangle since it's a 2D shape. Then you have an associated height with all 3D shapes. So straight away, we go to the square 
pyramid. Square pyramid, of course, you know that a square pyramid must have been formed from a, uh, a square. And let's see how that is done because, like I said, it's a special skill that you must possess. Ensure that all the sides of the square are the same. And that is what makes a square. And there you go, you have a square based. A pyramid. So, what is the formula for calculating? Generally, all pyramids is 1 over 3 multiplied by the area multiplied by the height. So, the volume, the formula for calculating the volume of a square pyramid will be 1 over 3 multiplied by the area. The area is length times length because the size of the square are the same multiplied by the height. And uh, straight away, we go to the formula for calculating a tetrahedron. A tetrahedron is a triangular. A tetrahedron is a triangular, a triangular uh, pyramid, and you must know how to draw that. Like I said, it's a special skill that you must possess, and it's very easy. So just link the vertices, link the vertices together, and you have a triangular base plan. So. The formula for finding the volume of any pyramid is given as multiplied by. So the volume for finding uh, the uh, volume of a triangular pyramid the area, this is formed from a triangle. And uh, the formula for calculating that of the triangle is half base times uh, height multiplied by the height. So which means that we can write the formula is the same thing for calculating the triangular base pyramid is 1 over 3 times half base times height multiplied by the height. Where this half base times height is the formula for calculating the area of a triangle. The two heights will not be the same. Why the first height represents the height of the triangle, the second height represents the height of the pyramid. So summary, you can say the formula is 1 over C base times height multiplied by the height of the pyramid. And this is the formula used uh, to calculate the volume of any triangular based uh, pyramid. We do not need to cram any of this formula. We only need to understand how uh, mathematics works and how mathematicians have derived all this formula. You have so many things to learn. You cannot keep cramming any of this formula, memorizing any of this formula. This is not a song of praise. Uh, it is not Quran. So you do not need to, uh, to memorize any of this formula. And once again, remember that the area the area is commonly given as centimeter squared or meter squared for the 2D shapes. A wide volume are equally given as a centimeter cube. I guess you understand where the 3 and the 2 are derived from now. These two simply shows it is derived from a 2D shape. Why these three shows it is derived from a 3D shape and that different shape. So anytime you are solving problem in mathematics, please, once you are asked to find or to look for an area of a particular uh, uh, solid or geometry, note that your final answer must be written with the square up. Uh, why? If you are asked to find the volume of any geometry, the three must be uh, shown to indicate that you are talking about a 3D shape and not a 2D shape. So we have questions to illustrate on how to apply some of these uh, formula that we have derived.